हेलो आई एम किरण कुमार फ्रॉम नेचर ऑफ फिजिक्स टुडे टॉपिक इज फ्रीली फॉलिंग बॉडी फ्रॉम द लॉ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी प्लीज डू लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब अवर चैनल नेचर ऑफ फिजिक्स डायग्राम एंड डेरिवेशन क्लियरली आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन स्टूडेंट एंड वॉच फुल वीडियो यू विल गेट क्लैरिटी एनर्जी नेदर बी क्रिएटेड नॉट बी डिस्ट्रॉय टोटल एनर्जी इज रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट बट एनर्जी कैन ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम वन फॉर्म टू अनेदर फॉर्म ही आर वी आर कंसिडरिंग मैकेनिकल एनर्जी द टोटल मैकेनिकल एनर्जी ऑफ द सिस्टम इज कॉन्स्टेंट If the internal force doing work on it are conservative, external force do no work. See, student, considering a ball of mass m at a height h from this ground, this is the ground. And freely falling body initial velocity is equal zero. This, so we are going to find the mechanical energy at a point A, that is highest point, and B midpoint. and see ground level student okay so for the mechanical energy at a point a that is sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy potential energy is mgh plus kinetic energy of m u square but u is equal zero so zero into anything zero that's why the mechanical energy at a is mea mea we are getting only potential energy because of kinetic energy is equal zero due to the initial velocity zero so equation 1 represent mechanical energy at a point a in the form of potential energy only next the body reach the b position here the mechanical energy considering as sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy due to the velocity the body getting the kinetic energy and due to the height the body have the potential energy because of a position to b position it is traveling downward direction that's why a is equal plus g s is the displacement from a position to b position so that remaining b to c represent the value is h minus x student h minus x represent the height for the position of the body at a point b student so that here mechanical energy sum of the potential energy mg h minus x because of height is h minus x and kinetic energy is of m vb square student and here also representing mechanical energy at a point b is eb student eb is the sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy so that from equation v square minus u square is equal to a s formula using student from a position to b position values considering for this equation u is equal to zero freely falling body a to b clearly written here and v is equal to vb b position velocity vb and a is equal downward direction plus g and s is equal to x clearly given in the diagram student now the values are replacing in the above equation so that we will get here vb square minus 0 square is equal to g x student so vb square is equal to g x here we got the velocity at a point b is vb square is equal to g x is replaced in the above equation kinetic energy student so that mechanical energy at a point b which is equal to potential energy mg h minus x plus of m vb square value is 2g x student okay in this here i can 2 to get cancel and we are getting continuation equation mechanical energy at b which is equal to mg h minus mg x plus mg x student plus mg x and minus mg x is get cancel so that mechanical energy at a point b i am getting mg h student this is i can write as equation number 2 mechanical energy at a point b also we got the mg h so mechanical energy at a point a and at a point b total energy is remains constant but at a point a is total energy in the form of potential energy at a point b is total energy in the form of sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy reason is due to the height potential energy due to the velocity kinetic energy 
next i am going to explain about the c position student now the body reach the ground student for the ground position height is equal to zero student whenever height is equal to zero potential energy is zero and the body reach the ground with a velocity vc final velocity so that kinetic energy is half m vc square so here i am getting mechanical energy at a points is c is equal to potential energy zero plus kinetic energy is half m vc square why potential energy zero student height is equal to zero so that potential energy also zero here i am going to write first equation already written there so mechanical energy is equal to sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy in this potential energy is zero into anything zero now using the equation v square minus u square is equal to s yes, equation of motion from a point to c point we have to consider student a to c we have to consider the values i am replacing a to c position initial velocity is equal zero and c position velocity final velocity is vc and next a is equal downward direction plus g and displacement from a position to c position is capital h student these the values are replacing in the above equation student so that replacing the value v b sorry v c square minus zero square is equal to g h student s is equal h clearly written the values replacing in the v square minus u square is equal to s so v square is equal to g h final velocity at a point c we got student this is replacing in the above equation now i am going to get the total energy mechanical energy mechanical energy at a point c potential energy is zero plus half m v square v c square value is 2 g h okay student 2 2 is get cancel mechanical energy at a point c which is equal to m g h i am getting this is equation number 3 student okay so energy neither be created nor be destroyed total energy is remains constant at a point a mgh at a point b mgh at a point c also mgh but one thing remember student at a point a total energy in the form of potential energy at a point c is total energy in the form of kinetic energy at a point c is sum of the potential energy and kinetic energy total explanation clearly given and written student from equation 1 2 3 it can be concluded that the total mechanical energy of the ball remains constant under the constant gravitational force student which is a conservative force gravitational force is a conservative force please do like and subscribe our channel and comment thank you students